Today we want to talk about a call that we're prototyping right now that is actually in production. We're, we're at the point to where we have been doing some testing. We feel it's progressed well enough to go into production. This is a shrink ER collet. Why we developed this collet was from customers that we visited with live tooling and the end mills are sucking out of the collets. And with the live tooling, they can only tighten the, the um, right angle head or the head on the lathe so tight. So they needed a, another solution to prevent the cutters from pulling out. So we came up with this system here. Now, originally I came up with an aluminum little fixture with a preset screw to locate the cutting tool. But if you look at this collet, it's, it's lighter here and darker here. And what I found was the aluminum was reflecting the induction field up high and not heating the bottom of the collet all the way. So we've went back to the drawing board with this and changed the material so that it will, re it will absorb the heat and also help in the transfer of heat to the bottom of the collet. So for today's demo, we're going to set the collet on top of a holder for heating it up. I normally in this machine we run about 26 seconds on a half inch for this demo here on these collets I have it set at 22 seconds uh, it's a little bit thinner material so you don't need as much heat as you normally would so you have to adjust it if you're not using our machine you have to adjust it for whatever machine you're putting it into and as you see, see sorry a little coolant spit there we're going to move it over to our fixture, which locates it. And let's get this cooled down. Because a lot of live tooling uses the flush tile nut, we've added this flat to all the collets that will clear the tabs in that nut. The production ones will actually have two flats on it for balance. And we made it fly a little bit deeper. We found it hanging up a little bit on, on a couple of my competitors' versions of the nut. So we wanted to make sure that we had enough clearance that would work in many different applications. I do inventory the internal nut for this if you do have a problem. So as you can see, um, where the preset screw was, the end mill is sticking out the bottom a little bit and that's fully adjustable. Now the benefit this, of this tool also is in milling machine applications because not only do we get the grip force from the shrink, but we should gain some vibration dampening from the nut and from the body. So, so not only is, was it, you know, it, well, it was intended for lathe, but we see also a benefit going into regular milling and ER collet chucks. Now I have a bunch of these for prototype. I have quarter inch and half inch. So if you would like to test one in your application, please let us know, contact our customer service department and they will send you out a collet for test. Now, if you don't have a cutting machine, send me the cutter, let me know how much flute you want out. I will install the cutter for you at whatever projection you want it at, and we will send you the collet with your cutter installed, and then you can test it in your application. The production ones are due in, in October of 2020. So, um, and then also our improved fixtures are also doing at the same time. So this will be on the website soon and available for sale very soon. So if you'd like to test one of our prototypes, please contact your sales department and we'll get that sent out to you right away.